Uh, I wonder if anything interesting's on the radio. You're listening to the Oddcast. Oddcast, it's the Oddcast. Clap, clap, <sighs> clap. <laughs> so, um, hi, and welcome back to the Oddcast. We're staying on topic, sort of, this time around. Not really. No, a little bit. Topic. It, no, well, no. Am I at the right place? <laughs> We we were trying to do a right turn, and then another right, and then one more right, and then but there's no right turn. It's just left. like one of those like diagonal right turns. It's not even really right. Yeah. Either way, close enough. <laughs> in like right turns, you can form a circle. It's yes. more of a veer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so anyway. Okay, yeah. Uh, what have you guys been playing recently? Uh, oh, I got a Assassin's Creed Rogue, and that's a little old, but. Still, is that the one that's not Assassin's Creed Unity, or is that the one that's not Assassin's Creed Black Flag? It's the one that's not either of those. Well, I mean, it was like an alternative to one of those two, wasn't it? It it, it was no, it was like it's like the prequel to Assassin's Creed Three. Oh, okay. And I haven't gotten too far in it, but from what I remember, this is the one where you like go rogue and you're not an assassin and you join the Templars. So, <clears throat> cool. but same kind of thing as Black Flag. You're, so far, I'm just sailing around, blowing ships up. That's cool. Mm. Sounds like a good deal. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. Huh. I'm back in StarCraft now, uh, casting again. So <laughs> too many Russians. Yeah, god damn Russians. <laughs> I I finally have people to play call like uh, CS with now, but I mean. God, it just pisses me off. <laughs> God, ugh. Either way, what have you been playing, John? Uh, well, let's see. I haven't been doing a whole lot new. I've been playing more Besiege. Nice. Uh, I've been playing more Minecraft. I've got a space base that's almost functional. Okay. So that, nice. that's pretty nice. And uh, that's really about it. It's been a boring week for me as far as games go. Mm. I really yeah. wanted to get... I really want to get um, either Evolve or Darkest Dungeon, but Darkest Dungeon isn't finished yet, and Evolve would suck if I didn't have three other people to, or four other people to mess around with. Yeah, yeah I was considering getting Evolve, but I leave in 13 days, so yeah. why would I bother getting a fancy game that I'd be playing for 13 days? You get on, they could get on sale as soon as you get back. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so that was quick. Woohoo! Yeah. That was we we got that out of the way quickly. Now let's get on to the real topic. Yes, for gentlemen. Yes. What does let's... Florida man say? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, let okay, me get Florida so, man up. Well, I've got it up. Yeah, I, I want it up too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's there. see. Florida man thrown into garbage truck after falling asleep in dumpster. <laughs> that just sounds like a hobo with the bad luck. <laughs> huh. Florida man tries to hide from police by burying himself in a giant pile of snow. The real story here is that there was a giant pile of snow in Florida. Yeah, that's my thought exactly. Who? How? I was just going through the Reddit. Uh, Florida man admits sexual assault on six-year-old girl, but says it was her fault. (laughs) (laughs) She came on to me, okay? Uh, (laughs) Never a good excuse. Oh, okay. He was in New York when he did it. Oh, well, that explains it. He was a man of Florida, though. Yes, he was a Florida man. Florida man tries to prove Texas is crazier than Florida with dildo law. (laughs) What? No, wait, it gets worse. Florida man caught having sex with family chihuahua. Damn it, I was just about to read that one. Well, Florida man lists occupation on arrest report as drug dealer. That is some genius right there. Florida man says he grabbed woman's butt so she could teach her how to dress in the cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. I can't remember if I read this one last week. Might have, but Florida man says dolphin seduced him into having sex. Oh, yes. That is fabulous. <laughs> God, what the hell is wrong with Well, this? Florida man pauses during police chase to nap beneath trailer. He was a tired <laughs> Florida man. Look, he... running from the police is hard work. 
<laughs> sometimes you just need to lie down and take a nice nap. <laughs> it's not his fault. Florida man ordered to stop selling shark figurine by Katy Perry's lawyer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the deal with left shark is. Do you know what uh, the deal with left shark is? I Either have. You? To. What what is this shark? Uh, I know it was a shark that appeared during the Super Bowl when yeah. Katy Perry was singing, and I don't really know what the whole buzz is about that. It like I mean, there were many different things in costumes during the Super Bowl thing. That halftime show was weird, man. It was weird, like on a different scale of weird. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, I skipped the Super Bowl like mostly because of those goddamn Alpha Cat commercials. <laughs> I didn't Hey see YouTube, it. your man Alpha Cat here and I'm going to spend 30 seconds talking at you in a really uninteresting way and you can't skip it. So fuck you. <laughs> well, Florida man tries to pay for beer at 7-Eleven with, re- with reading glasses. Did we do that one? Nope, that sounds new. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Either way, <laughs> Florida man, you is crazy. Yep. Okay. Um. Next topic on this list. I've got a list here. I'm surprised we're sticking to it so well. I'm forcing yeah. you people. Yeah, we're good. Um, real quick. Have you guys watched anything recently, like movies, TV shows, etc.? <clears throat> well, I'm rewatching Futurama. Oh god, that show is so good. I know it is hilarious. Oh god! Recently, the most recent episode I saw was the Christmas, the, like the Xmas one. Oh yes, with the uh, robot Santa. Oh, I love the entire, uh, like just the fact that Zoidberg is the only person in on the entire Earth who's actually good. <laughs> he gets a present. <laughs> yeah, he's the only one who gets, and he gets a pogo stick. Uh, <laughs> And everyone sells their hair so they can buy combs. And then Zoidberg bought their hair and also got a comb. So he has a comb for his new beautiful hair. <laughs> and now he looks looks as pretty as he feels. <laughs> uh, I need to... Like, I watched all the old Futurama episodes and then some of the new ones. But I have to watch, like, up to the end of the new stuff. Yeah, I still haven't... I still actually haven't finished it i haven't seen like the movies oh the movies are great well yeah, I, I, saw, I saw the first one i think bender's big score yeah 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 it's so good yeah i know oh god i love futurama why was that canceled ever i have no idea yeah i mean it's so much better than like family guy or the simpsons or just anything like that i just love futurama I love the fact that they they brought Futurama back for a crossover episode of The Simpsons. Oh, yeah, that happened, didn't it? Yeah, that was good. All right, I'm back. Oh, okay. Oh, you left? Yeah. Oh, I stopped talking. You think I'm just a quiet background person? You could have just done the cast without me if that was the case. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it was a tempting idea. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So, what have you been watching? Um... mm. Nothing. <laughs> really? Nothing? No, I don't really watch too many shows. Shows, movies, whatever. Or Well, I've seen... I saw, what is it, that movie The Judge. It was good. Dread? No, ju- The Judge. It was like a new movie, like Robert Downey Jr. Um, oh, okay. Bunch of, bunch of big people. Huh. Yeah. Never heard of it. Me good either. acting. Yeah, oh, okay. I liked it. Oh, well, all right. We got it yesterday. That's all I've seen recently. Uh, other than that it was like reruns of the things you've seen a hundred times and you're just like I have nothing to do <laughs> yeah that's, that's why you want that's why you end up watching future because that's my whole life and then whenever show. you that's my whole life and then whenever you guys want me to do something it's like <laughs> I'm at my recruiters at that moment <laughs> okay so um one thing I did watch recently was Dark Dungeons okay which is a movie adaptation of a comic strip by Jack Chick now for this segment, I want you guys to read along with me. Okay. And do voices and stuff. Okay. Do voices. Wait. Okay. So, 
Uh, okay, so I'll start. No, I <laughs> gotta set... open it. Okay, are the, well, are you the DM. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, play the DM. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the the black woman. Uh, well, the she's woman in white. black. Rather. Oh, come yeah, on, she's white, but hair. she's like, wearing black. But um, hair. to set the setting for people listening and for you guys, this was in 1984, published during the Dungeons and Dragons is satanic craze. Okay. Alongside, you know, like Black Sabbath and other rock music. Yeah. All that good stuff that's actually not satanic. So we say. Okay. <clears throat> Dark Dungeons. Okay, wizard, cast your spell. Okay, dungeon master. My spell of light blinds the monster. The thief, Black Leaf, did not find the poison trap and I declare her dead. No, not Black Leaf. No, no, I'm gonna die. Don't make me quit in the middle of the game. Please don't. Somebody save me. You can't do this. Mercy, get out of here. You're dead. You don't exist anymore. Debbie, your cleric has been raised to the eighth level. I think it's time that you really learn how to cast spells. You mean you're going to teach me how how to have the real power? Oh my yes. god, this is the next week. <laughs> yes, yes, it gets better, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, you have the personality for it now. The intensical training through D&D prepared Debbie to accept the invitation to enter a witch's coven. I've brought Elfstar to become a priestess and a witch. Welcome, Welcome Elfstar. Elfstar. Okay. Now you will become a priestess of the craft and of the temple of Diana. <laughs> it's still you. Miss Frost, <laughs> this is fantastic. This makes me, no, this makes the game real. And it's not a fantasy anymore. Last night I cast my first spell. This is real power. I knew you already by the way you played the game. But that is just the beginning. There's so much more. I keep changing voices. <laughs> no. Which spell did you cast, Debbie? I used the mind bondage spell on my father. He was trying to stop me from playing day and day. <laughs> what was the result? He just bought me two hundred dollars worth of D and D figures and manuals. It was great. <laughs> that's that's the proper use of your absurd you ever, magical arts. Like, have you ever, <laughs> know, right? In any of your career of voice acting, have you ever used anything close to that, Matt? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> no, because all people want from me is the same old like deep voice that like that no one else can do. Yeah. Like, Everyone wants this, wants me to do something like this or this or this. Or know, this. Anyway, I've done this before. Everyone wants the orc voice. <laughs> I've anyway. done this before. This is a fun voice to do. Later that week. Hey, <laughs> Debbie, Marcy's on the phone. She wants to talk to you. She's really upset. I can't. I'm fighting the zombie. She'll tell us here tomorrow. No, t- tonight, sorry. <laughs> Oh, Wait, can we try hey, Miss Anderson. Marcy wanted to see her, wanted me to see her tonight. I'm, trying to like I'm really glad hard. you're here, Debbie. Marcy has shut herself in her room and won't come out. She hasn't been herself for weeks. I've been very worried. Ever since her character in the game got killed, it's as though a part of her died. Maybe you can talk some sense into her. No. No, Marcy. <laughs> You can't have, you didn't have to do that. Uh, for it's, those of us who are <laughs> visually impaired in this situation, as it's an audio podcast, uh, Marcy has hung herself on, as a result of her character dying, um, uh, next to all of her, actually a pretty bitchin' giant dragon figurine. Yeah, I know, that's... Crazy. I wish I could get reverb to work, but... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or I would okay. do the, the, the letter. It's my fault, Black Leaf died. I can't face life anymore alone, Marcy. Damn it. <laughs> I want re- like, I want like reverb and Miss <laughs> uh, Frost, I can't get Marcy out of my mind. How could she do something like this? If I let the game, she'd be alive today. Get your priorities straight, Debbie. Your spiritual growth through the game is more important than some lousy loser's life. <laughs> 
that is lousy so, losers life. Yeah, it's it, and that's the mother. No, no, no. This mother, is, no this is, is, oh no. This oh yeah. Okay. No, that's actually. Yeah, her. this is the DM witch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It would have happened sooner or later. Her spirit was weak. What the law we're facing is that we can't do anything we want as long as no harm, no one. But now we have harmed Marcy. What have I gotten myself into? Don't be stupid, Debbie. I think you'd better let Elstar take care of things. You're getting out of control. I don't want to be Elstar anymore. I want to be Debbie. <laughs> I would have been happy. <laughs> That's such a great line. I don't I want, want to be all star anymore. I want to be Debbie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Snav, you take over this guy. Oh, this guy. Hey, Debbie, what's wrong? Can I help? I thought I had the answers, Mike. But now everything is falling apart. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, am I your sweetheart, Matt? <laughs> Debbie, I told you, Jesus is the only answer. God damn it. <laughs> I've been praying and for fasting for you. Why would you do that for me? Because I know that you're in what you're involved in. It's spiritual warfare that you can't win without Lord Jesus. What can I do? Come with me to a meeting this afternoon. The speaker came, the speaker came out of witchcraft and he knows what you're up against. I call dibs on this guy. Okay. Bad <laughs> afternoon. You, uh, who are involved in the occult, uh, think you have achieved a power, <laughs> but you have been trapped in a dungeon of bondage. Uh, the limited power you have been given is only a bait to lure you to destruction. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Jesus uh, came that you might have life uh, and are more like, abundantly. Are you like a civil rights, like 60s black, like preacher? Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, <laughs> yes. Look at this guy. He is. I mean, that must that's have literally man. what he is. He's white, but I got which I got. Yeah, he for. still talks like that, you know. Yeah, he's got. You got to have that kind of thing. Yeah, like, oh Lord, a G- a Jesus uh, sets us free from the bondage of witchcraft uh, and gives us victory over the power of the enemy, Satan. Uh, and it has an asterisk there. Uh, one John four four and John eight thirty six. Okay. I don't God's yeah, word. Yeah, I don't know. God's word uh, <laughs> declares that you must repent. Uh, I read Turn to Jesus Christ uh, and trust him alone as your savior. Then, according to Acts 19.19, 19, you should gather up all your occult paraphernalia, like your rock of music, occult book charms, dark dungeons material. Don't throw them away. Burn them. We'll do that here tonight. We will also be praying for the deliverance of those who have been allowed occult forces to control them. So, um... Acts 1919 hates rock music and D&D. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just so we're clear on that. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I hope I'm not break- peeking my mic or anything. If you want the Lord Jesus as your savior, come forward now. Oh, God. I need help. My life is the best. Help me. <laughs> In the name of a Jesus, uh, I order you your spirit to the girl. cult to lead Debbie. Lord Jesus. I repent, I trust that you die for me. Please be my savior. You got me through life. I want you to be in charge of everything. Not that lousy D&D manual. Is that the demons leaving her right back behind yeah. her? Yeah, those are the occult <laughs> demons leaving her. <laughs> Debbie burned because all of her occult material that night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for setting me free. Is this a, a little like questionnaire? For us yeah, at the end of reading yes. this comic, yeah. Do you? After Everybody, this comic, leave your. <laughs> after this, uh, leave your responses in the comments below. Do you believe Jesus died on the cross for you? Yes. No. <laughs> did you have to have him come into your heart to save you? Yes. No. If you did, sign this so you can remember when God saved your soul. Date your name. <laughs> and that is Dark Dungeons. That is fantastic. <clears throat> Sponsored they made by the a Church of Latter Day Saints. <laughs> yeah, they they actually made it. They actually managed to get the rights to it from Jack Chick, and then they made a movie about it. Oh God, no! Sponsored by the Westboro Baptist Church. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh my God, really? Yeah, it it's a good movie though. Like, um, let me see. They they mixed around so that what they're actually doing is they're trying to summon Dread Cthulhu from the depths. Oh, Cthulhu! And then Satanic? by her, That's just awesome. Yeah, 
I mean, yeah, well, well, that's what they're doing. His hair he is coming. Dungeons and Dragons are coded instructions on how to summon Cthulhu. That I believe. <laughs> it's great. Um, well, moving on. Yes. Yes. Do we have that was topics good. or do we just derail now? I, I, I think that was about it, actually. I've got a commercial sponsor, but we can wait a couple minutes for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, about in, half time. Yeah. <clears throat> in that case, let's uh, find out what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yes, this is the for segment of the show where sure. we attempt to give guidance to Matt's. Yes. And by that, I mean we roll dice and see which way he goes in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Just like d and Okay, well, I think this warrants a little backstory. So, Matt, you can tell the story. Yes. Okay, so, like, the deadline for uh, applying for studies is coming up. And I have no clue what I'm going to apply for. So, I am literally open to anything that I can yeah. do. What was your motivation? Getting doing something else except working. <laughs> I will go to school forever, therefore I never have to work. Indeed, I know, right? Sounds like a great plan. Just amassing yeah. infinite amounts of student loans and then dying and then never <laughs> paying them off and then the state will just be in a catastrophe due to my loans. You will take down the entire country. You'll have so many degrees, loans. but and it'll yeah. never make sense. You'll just like you'll go home and your entire wall is just like one big like <laughs> wall. This is my degree wall. <laughs> yeah. This is where I learned everything in the universe. Uh, this <laughs> You think you're going to become like sophisticated and wear like sweaters with like ascots and stuff and have yes. smoke out of a pipe? Of course. You're like this is my this is the bachelor wall. It's not as big as my doctorate wall. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, over here is my general studies wall. This is where I've done everything from history to New Age science and Eastern medicine. Hey, do you want to get a leg up and get one more for the wall? Yes. All right. It's time to ordain Matt as a universal minister. I actually oh, yeah. am a minister ah. in, uh, in the uh, church of the Latter-day Dude. Yeah? Yes. I, I am an ordained my, minister. I actually got my uh, certificate of ministry online because it took five minutes to sign yeah, up. It did for me too. Yep, and you have a little. You can go and get a little uh, paper. Yeah, you, I think it's like five bucks, and they'll mail it to you. Yeah, that was. And I can marry people now. Yeah, hooray! Yeah, one more certificate for the cer- for the certified wall. Yeah, that I. Maybe I could become ordained in many churches. I love the website. It's like, we've ordained Conan O'Brien, Kathy <laughs> Griffin, Sir Ian McKellen, Joanne Rivers, <laughs> Brian Cranston. <laughs> what? Brian Cranston? Yeah, Brian Cranston is ordained. <laughs> so they're your colleagues. <laughs> Rob Deerdeck. <laughs> Richard you'll Branson. you have to tell us how the ordained minister parties go. <laughs> well, I, they send me emails all the time. I just ignore them. <laughs> oh. I was more doing it as a joke, but I guess like if anyone needs to get married, just give me a call. And yeah, I'll, me too. I'll, I'll throw on it. my yep. I'll throw I'll, my fancy robes, and I don't own yet. I'll get them when I need them. But yeah, I'll, oh, I, shit. I, now I, I want to become an ordained minister. I, I know. I have the official uh, robes of the Church of the Latter Day Dude. Uh huh. And uh, I do have the, uh, well, occasionally I partake in the, uh, in the, in the arts. Of I need to get like a big, like Pope staff and like robes <laughs> and uh, it's, like the big tassels that go over and I'll like walk out with a big fucking hat and beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone like looks expecting stuff like, sup guys? <laughs> Either way, okay. Let's let's get back to the uh, to the wall of bachelors and masters. Okay. Okay. Do you have a list I can look at. Uh, kind of well, give you ideas. The only issue is that it's in Norwegian. <sighs> Easy, give it to me. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll <laughs> copy paste it to the chat. If it opens, it opens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I can make. I'll, I'll make sense of it. Don't worry about yeah. it. All right. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so let's uh. see. Um, <laughs> drama, Kunst og Handwerk. Yeah, that's <laughs> art. Kunst og Handwerk Art Studium. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. here. Hold on. Made for painting in music. Yeah. And music. I yeah. think music means music. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Kunst is art. Uh, so it's basically like art and doing shit with your hands. Uh, and then underneath it's like history, religion, and idea things. Which is, I can do philosophy, but that's only like, uh, or studium is a year, so like it's, that's a year, and I don't really need that shit. So, I mean, no. and, and there are many different schools, that's just the school I was done, like, at when I sent you, so. If you go to the, the top where it says, uh, like, uh, studium, uh, high school in it's, like, it's the second one with where there's actually, like, a little writing. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, can you make sense of anything? No, not a single word. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I mean a couple. See. There's a few in here. <laughs> How about sociology? Uh, well, you know, maybe. Where is it? Under Sam Funzhag Psychology. Okay, so social studies <clears throat> and psychology... Wait, uh, can't find it. Uh, I have no idea where you found that. It's just rather down the page. Oh, I found it. Okay. <laughs> uh, where was it? I can't see it anywhere. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I see it. Uh, oh shit, that's like law stuff and that shit and politics and oh god. Uh. <laughs> sociology no sociology yeah <clears throat> like development studies how about like industrial that. economics and technology management I would rather die <laughs> but uh, you manage sure. that technology you yeah. manage it <laughs> uh, it's so that would basically mean that I'm doing some of the no, that's actually a master, so I can't do that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can read that one word that says master. <laughs> yeah, well, good. unless you would, uh, unless you call all your teachers masters, I <laughs> assume that's what that meant. <laughs> master. <laughs> mm. Either way, all right. <clears throat> also, it it would be best if it says uh, G E N S next to the thing. Or uh, L R E R L A R E R. I'm working it out. Don't worry about it. All right. It, it takes me a little longer to understand languages. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, medicine, dentistry, health, and social care. Uh wait, dentistry? Well, I'm just in that whole category. Oh, medicine. Oh, medicine. Yeah, that whole category of or medicine. Orthodontism? Do you want to be a doctor, Matt? I would, <laughs> would you trust me with your with your body? With how 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 Oh baby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Do you want to be a nurse, male nurse, get a motorcycle Ooh, or something? My. Dude, if if I were a male nurse and got a motorcycle, that would be really weird. Well, no, it's to compensate because you're a male nurse. Yeah. Uh, hmm, maybe. I don't know. Well, speaking <clears throat> of medicine, that actually ties into our commercial sponsor for the day. Really? Yes, it does. Roll the clip. Did you hear? Marcy gets the day off because she's sick with Simon Osley. Oh, man. I wish I could get a day off because I had an exotic disease. Is this you? Tired of hearing about the unpronounceable diseases your friends and coworkers are using to get days off? Sick of getting stuck with boring diseases like the flu? Not anymore with IOTO brand diseases. Choose from over 1,000 diseases such as rock lust, hot ears, shaking pneumonia, crystal malaria, and more. Become the envy of all your friends when you get to take the time off to deal with your severe woodland sweat. But that's not all. For a limited time only, we're offering custom diseases with hundreds of symptoms to choose from. Best of all, you can share with your friends at no extra cost. 
Order now and we'll double your order for free. No, Iota Corporation is not responsible for any death or injury through the use of this product. Do not consult your doctor before ordering. Oddcast, it looks good on you. <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic product, John. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but we're like helping people not work. Yeah, yes. but they wouldn't work anyway if they're ordering it. Indeed. You know, yeah. they don't they just need a day off or possibly death. It's okay. But a day off or possibly infinite. Yeah, but Iota we're not can liable. Be a kind god. But we're not yeah, Iota Corp is a kind god occasionally. <laughs> Very occasionally. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> God. Okay. <clears throat> let's get let's get back to this shit. Okay. Okay. A movie is being made about Iotocorp. You have to pick an actor to represent yourself. They have to be at least fifty years or older. And we have to pick a director. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> George oh. Clooney is me. George Clooney is you? God damn it. Uh Sean Connery. Is Sean Connery over 50? He's like 70 or 80. I'm probably. <laughs> Wait, is George Clooney over 50, by the way? Uh, I, it's probably close. Over 50 is. is a very small percentage. Mm-hmm. Clooney is... How old is he? George Clooney is 53. Yes! Barely in the ballpark. Barely in the... Yeah. Well... And I guess I could go with like Liam Neeson or something. Oh, Sean Connery is goodness. 84 years old. Really? Yeah. He is old, man. Oh, God. How, how old is... um? God, what? Christopher Lee. That's one. Yeah. Oh, God. He is awesome. He's 92. Now, wait, what? Christopher Lee is 92 goddamn years old. Are you shitting me? No. Christopher Walken, on the other hand... Is a mere seventy-one. Actually, I want to change my answer. I want he Jeff Bridges York. to play me. You want? To, oh, Jeff Bridges! I forgot uh, about Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Actually, I may want to go with Christopher Walken over uh, Sean Connery. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I Jeff. want Patrick Stewart to play me. <laughs> oh, Patrick Stewart's a good choice. Yes, mm. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Now we need to pick agree on a director for our movie. He's directing this movie with. <laughs> well, I I do have an idea, and uh, I would go uh, with uh, Quentin Tarantino. That would certainly work, although we don't you have want a fucking near psychotic near movie. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's about the despair and oh shit oh god and many various uh, non. Uh, liable products of the IOTO Corporation. <laughs> and if you want a movie about like it's just people are gonna like finish watching and just be like, I don't know how to feel about that, then sure, Gwen Tarantino. Yes, we're not liable. <laughs> we're not liable. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the movie. <laughs> no liability. No liability. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now, if we want to have lo- fun for a long time and have the movie come out in like 10 years from now, we could have James Cameron do it. Oh, James Cameron could die. <laughs> Dude, he Or if is... we want to have a magical adventure, we could do Peter no, but Jackson. James, yeah, but James Cameron only has like one good movie. Oh, I changed my mind again. What? Nicolas Cage is 51 years old. Oh, Nick Cage. Yeah, but... It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, but like so is like... um. Isn't Jim Carrey just like 52 or something? What about Jack Nicholson? Does Jack Nicholson do things these days? Oh, no. Or Clint Eastwood could direct our movie. Uh, No. (laughs) He makes weird movies, man. I know, but so does Quentin Tarantino. (laughs) Yeah, but Quentin Tarantino has like a point. uh, Uh, And he's artistic. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Sure. I think I I can handle Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. But, I mean, could also go with, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, God, I've forgotten. Uh, who's the one who did Goodfellas and Shutter Island? And Oh, uh, shit. Oh, are you talking about the actor? No, no, no. No, I'm talking about the, the director. 
That would be Martin Scorsese. Mm, Scorsese. Scorsese. Yes. We could also do Scorsese. Though that would be like a mafia hard turn. Yeah. I, Again, I, that, I really that like kind of fits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Shutter Island the one where Jack Black was like exploring a haunted <clears throat> prison no, or something? No, but it was uh, Leonard, I, Leo. It was Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio. And it was like terrible. It. Oh, come on. It was I awful. It. it was awful. You just don't like people changing, like, topic really quickly in movies. Dude, I don't like your issue? when... Just like this podcast. <laughs> I don't like when there's just so many different, like, terrible filters and the shitty editing, poor sound design. Oh, God. Also, a terrible, another terrible movie uh inception holy shit that is bad uh that movie i also like that movie uh, it's just hard to understand it's a dream within a dream within his dream you gotta admit if though, we it die makes here, south park we died yeah inception was amazing <laughs> uh, i also like the oculus rift one which was basically that yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh god Actually, no. I wait. How old is God? How old is he? Please say he's over. No, he's forty-five. Nah. Who are you looking at? Trey Parker. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Do the directors have to be over fifty-two? Because in that case, I want Trey Parker to direct it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Hannibal the musical. But I wanted to be like Hannibal the musical. Is one of the lines Hannibal the cannibal? Yes. Damn it. I was going to go with the next best one is Matt Stone. So, but he's 43. Yeah. Yeah, well. I mean, cause he five years. Terry Parker make the movie, all the stuff together. So, yeah, Terry the time Parker this... does like all the weird shit. Well, by the time it gets big enough, five years from now, we can totally get that from him. Yes. Because he'll be over 50. Yes. And hopefully Christopher Lee won't be dead. Yeah, that would also be good. (laughs) Holy shit, he's old. But he's going to live till he's like 500. I mean, he makes fucking... He... I don't know if you you know the band Rhapsody. Isn't... Didn't he make a death metal album with them or something? He did, yes. And it's not death metal. It's power metal, but, you know, it's awesome. Christopher yeah. Lee is awesome. Mm. Except when he plays Darth... Darth... What, what's his face? Uh, Sidious? No. No. The main... Yeah. Uh, God. Uh, now I can't remember because he was so unimportant to the plot. Like I everything know. else in that movie. I know. And he, ne- he wasn't really ever evil. You just kind of... Count Dooku. Count Dooku, that was his name. But he, the thing about him, he wasn't really evil. You just kind of there. Yeah, no, but he was trying to foil the plot. He was trying to stop Darth Sidious. So he had to become, like, he had to become, a, uh, uh, like, go to the dark side to be able to stop the dark power and stuff. And then he got killed by Anakin because of uh, the Emperor. Yeah, he is Darth Sidious. No, Darth Sidious is the Emperor. No, no, he's yeah. Darth Sidious. What? No, wait, no, you're right. Yeah. Uh, Darth Sidious is it the It says Emperor. Masters Darth Sidious. Yeah. <clears throat> Either way. Oh, Qui-Gon Jinn was actually one of his apprentices. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the Count Dooku's apprentice. Yeah. And Qui-Gon Jinn is the one who learned force walking again. Mm-hmm. Which was a terrible plot plot point. Yeah. I apparently- remember just like in the third movie, like really at the end, it, like Yoda just says to uh, Ben. Obi-Wan. Yeah. He just says like, Qui-Gon has learned the mastery of force walking. And then just ends the movie. <laughs> and, and then Ben Kenobi has to learn force walking, which he does. And then he becomes, and then he learns that he can just not die to Darth Vader and rather just become the Force, which is awesome. 
Yeah. Uh, there's actually a plot point in Expanded Universe I heard about where um, apparently Emperor Palpatine is really fucking badass because after he's killed, he yeah, not he comes only... Back. Yeah, he comes back as a Force ghost who then possesses clones of his body <clears> that <throat> he yeah. just has as an army and fight comes like back to life. Yeah, I know. He's like the ultimate badass, which is awesome. Well, yeah, he's... um. Wasn't he that one person's like prodigal disciple? And well, I mean, he could like bring people back to life and stuff. Yeah, that was yeah. sort of the reason why Anakin became... yeah went to the dark side in the first place. Yeah, I know. So I mean, even though that entire plot was terrible, it, they brought it back. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Still and now it's it. all gone. I don't like to set my standards too high for anything that comes out, but because uh, if I do, I'll hate it. Everything. Oh yeah, it's I don't want to hate it. Awful thing. No, I'm gonna go probably watch it, and I don't know if I'll enjoy it or not, but I probably won't hate it. That's how I pretty much look at everything. Because if I hate everything, then become, I become a cynical asshole, and I sit on my porch and throw sticks at kids. That's how my life ends. <laughs> yeah, but it it's awful. I'm. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to watch the new movies, but it oh, looks terrible. I, I mean, it looks awful. God, like, God awful. You've seen, like, three shots from it. You can't... I've seen 30 seconds, thank you very much. <laughs> and 30 okay. seconds is all I need to hate. Don't something. forget about the cross lightsaber. I know it's terrible, ugly, and I want it to die. But it's like, Yes, I mean, I guess that the they're trying. It's a, a hilt. It's <laughs> no, but like here's every... here's the thing, though. The last Jedi is dead, he, or he's supposed to be dead, mm. and the last Wait, Sith Luke's dead by that. Luke should be dead. He's supposed to be. I mean, according to canon. Oh, is. again, uh, they actually just, they literally said, we're throwing out all the fucking canon. Well, you can't Expanded just U- throw out canon, man. They did. Expanded Universe is all gone. Then why have I spent my life on things that aren't important anymore? That's so true, isn't it? That's Fuck true. you, about Disney. That. George Lucas. No, this is Disney. Yeah. All I'm saying is I'll go into it, and if if the story sucks, whatever, I'll find something to appreciate, whether it's, like, special effects or something. Because the special effects will be decent, if anything. Yeah, but... Yeah, because I've seen the videos of, like, on-set stuff. They're going back to good old animatronics instead of CG. Yeah, I saw that. The, like, the rolling droid thing is apparently real. They made that. (laughs) Oh, yeah, the little soccer ball robot. Yeah, I have appreciation for that but then again like a lot of the reason people hate cg or the idea of it is because most of the time it's they they go to when they don't have budget and they get some crappy people yeah, but, some crappy company to go make cg for them. yeah like, but there's disney, obviously really good cg disney and like, star wars that's a lot of money you know yeah you wouldn't you you wouldn't not have that you know but, you know like um i gotta think about it trying to remember what it was yeah. well uh we've gotten 43 minutes into this so far yeah so um i think it's about time we finish up with well we start finishing up a little bit with um shit starter oh shit, shit starter. starter good idea <clears throat> so for those of you new to the concept of shit starter it's basically we throw out ideas that, that are you can terrible. use. Yeah, and you can use, and we will probably never make, but they're ideas, and if you want to give us money to do it, tell us, and then we'll take your money and not do it, just like Peter Molyneux and every game he makes. <laughs> he called you out, Peter. Oh! <laughs> Snapshots fired, man! <laughs> But seriously, though, I don't know if you heard about this, but Peter Molyneux just literally just said, "What was the game he was making again?" That he goddess. did it. Goddess. He just he just said, "Okay, we're uh, we're pulling the PC version 
releasing the i like the iOS version, and now I'm going to a new game. He literally did that, and everyone was like, "Wait, what? You're what?" So Peter Molyneux is a dick, and he deserves AIDS. Yeah. And not a lot of people deserve AIDS, but he really, really does. It's not hard to find if you really are looking for it. I know where to find there's, AIDS. There's whole websites devote like there's a website called like Bug Trader or something. Yeah. Where people go to have unprotected sex to catch diseases. So I will just hook him up with someone from there. Hey Peter. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Peter. hey Peter. Do I want some AIDS? No, you don't, Peter. Want some of that good old lights, don't you, Peter? Peter! Tell me, Peter! Well, that's just dumb. I'm really trying to find that thing I was talking about the, from the CGI thing. Uh, I really want it. Really, like, it's like hard. I don't remember who made it. But still. I'm just saying. There's good. It's good. There are people who could do it really well. They're well, probably yeah, I mean, just more like, expensive. Like Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. There, that was good. good. That was Blizzard, they did fucking Avatar, fantastic. Planet of the Cakes. I want some cake. I do too. But uh, Avatar did really ridiculously good CG. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Blizzard it was terrible. Blizzard does good CG, even if it is a bit cartoony and not really realistic. Dude, I would, dude. I fucking love the Diablo CG things. Oh my god. Oh, the, the Blizzard's animation, sir. You know, CG department or whatever. The, whoever they, the animation department. Yeah, it's fucking phenomenal. They, I'd love like the if best. like if I had to pick any video game company that I'd like their animation team to make a like a short or like a movie or something, it'd yeah. probably be Blizzard. Yeah. Speaking of which, aren't they doing that? I don't. No, no, no. It's uh, they're making a. Li- it's a live action thing. Oh, uh, okay. And they have actors and stuff, and it's on IMDb, and you can go look at it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The the Warcraft movie. Yeah. The guy. The main character is played by the. Have you anybody seen Vikings? That show. Yeah. 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 I yeah. The main show. guy. The main guy Ragnar. He's playing one of the. Wait. The main really? character. Yeah. Yes. Isn't Vikings the not Game of Thrones Game of Thrones show? No, it's yeah, the kinda. Viking show. Yeah, I know, but just, it's trying to be Game it, of Thrones. No, no, it yes. is based on the life of a Viking king. Who was called Ragnar Harry Breaches, which was his name because his wife made him furry pants uh, out of animal fur uh, because they thought it would protect him from all wounds, which surprisingly it did not, and he died in a pit where in like Northumbria because King something put him there. With, like, snakes and spikes. So, yeah. And it, there, we're not really sure if he's real or not, but we know his sons are real. But we're not really sure if they're his sons or not. Well, so. I was going to say, if they're his sons are real, wouldn't that make him real? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. No, they just kind of appeared out of the Viking fog. Yeah. Like all Vikings. Yes. We're, we're, a, we're a fond people of stories and you know, dying and killing and raping and pillaging and mm. other murder-related stuffs. Of course. Now you make me want to go back and play Skyrim again. No, I... Oh, God, I can play, like, ten minutes of Skyrim, then I just don't want to do it anymore. Every now and again, I, wa- I install Skyrim thinking I want to play it. And I, like, I'll play, like, two mods for, like, 30 minutes, and then I'll uninstall it again. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, that's a cool looking mod I see or something. Or my friend's like, yeah, try it. Or, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 20 gigs to install. And you're just like, at the end, you're just like, I played this for 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the only worthwhile mods are the ones that make the character models look really ridiculously good. And all of those are basically sex mods. So that's oh, what you wind up with. Yes. <laughs> hey, look, this good. game looks absolutely fantastic. And they're all naked. And there's, there's a no realistic, there's a list, realistically uh, produced vagina in this game. Horse, horse vagina, vagina. on a human. <laughs> that well then, weird. <laughs> Imagine that a horse vagina on a human. I'm not. 
I uh, do it. I'm, I'm not. Do it. Do it, viewer. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll apply for dentistry. Dentistry. <laughs> yeah. Then I could you pick around in people's mouths and be like, "Ew, I see what you are doing." Dentists can judge people all the time. I know. I can just be like, "Oh, you're not eating very healthily, are you?" And then they'll I'm just be like, saying, I- as someone who's gone to dentists, they are all judgmental assholes. Yeah. Oh, you were brushing too hard, weren't you? No, I'm fucking not. Oh, I don't. You're smoking, aren't you? I, you know, I'm trying to quit. Oh, are you really? I'm cutting down. Are you though? Are you? <laughs> Yes. Fucking dentist. <laughs> uh, that would be so much fun, but that's only stuff you can do like afterwards, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd have to be a dentist to be able to do that. Well, you can just say, I took dentistry. <laughs> Dr. Matt's fun, fun filling clinic. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I have searched so much for like this one th- animation thing. I can't find it, but like I found some other good examples. Yeah. And the worst case scenario, you can just put a link in the description and people can go see animation. Like this one, it's really fucking oh, good at like a certain distance. It starts out like <laughs> it starts. Distance? No, no, no! Don't like, don't like, like when it starts out. Sit, it starts sit, sit away from the screen. Like a mile is probably good, maybe two. You know, it might. No, I mean, look like really good. No, like you can look at the screen. It's just like the video starts off as a close up, and then it backs out, and, and in the close up, you can kind of pick some things apart out underneath the eye, like on the upper eyelids and stuff. But like when yeah. it backs out, you're just like, that looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Someone actually does spent, look pretty good. Maybe I'll looks, apply for animation studies. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. Should I do that? Should you? I don't know. I don't, I don't no, know. you want to see some good animation? Yes. Wait, where is animation anyways? I okay. Do, do I'm going to show always, you this. Okay, I've you've probably seen. seen this before, but that's some damn good animation. Oh, oh God, going to the store. It's so catchy. I've seen this many times. Oh yeah, this one. That reminds me, I do love some sexual lobster again. Yeah. <laughs> that is the most amazing of stuffs. I don't know, I've always had a fascination with 3D animation and everything in like 3DS Max or Maya or anything like that. Yeah. But I've never like gone too hard at it like i've played around i've made some things work and that's about it Mm. yeah my problem is always hey look i'm gonna do this crazy thing in this 3d animation program then i open it up it's like i have no idea where to fucking start and i just close it yeah (laughs) and you're like what's a mesh (laughs) and then just close it (laughs) no i don't even get that far i like open up a blank slate and it's like I'm going to try this when I know what I'm doing. And then I close, uninstall, forget about it for another month, and then it repeats. (laughs) I mean, I think they changed it now. It would be Brandon JLA's channel. He has some pretty good, like, uh, 3DS Max or what? I think 3DS Max, but they get pretty good tutorials on stuff. I mean, I can can do some modeling, but I can't do, like, the actual animation part. Yeah, that takes, like, a lot of practice. Yeah. But like they said, it's like everyone, everything you pick up, you're always going to fucking suck like a lot when you start yeah. doing it. So you just got to like get past that and keep practicing. And eventually you'll get good. Will you though? Will you? you? It, yeah. You just have to try. Come on. Are you certain? I mean, if you're not like mentally handicapped, probably. Maybe I should apply for psychology. Psychology? Yes, I do believe that you are suffering from stupidity, young sir. <laughs> yeah, and then I can just sit there people. with my pipe. Yeah, then you're especially allowed to judge people. You're, you're not judging like, them on their teeth. You're judging them on why they're not brushing their teeth. Yes, and other personality issues like stupidity, 
and mommy issues and why they're killing themselves over and over again. That's, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Yes. Over and over again, they're killing themselves? Well, they're trying to, at least. They're failing even at that. Think so I think we have back. a new shit starter. <laughs> uh, yes. for the end goal is one million dollars. Or mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. And for a hundred dollars, Matt will sit you down and judge you. Yes. That, Do that you want I any other stretch goals on top of this? Yes. <laughs> what 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 are stretch goals? Uh, I don't I don't know. It's, that's pretty much all we got. <laughs> okay. So stretch goal stretch goal number one mm-hmm. is uh, at a hundred. No wait, is that one million one hundred thousand dollars? Which is I will dig up Bob Dole's head, put it on a spike, <laughs> and show it to people on the street while I judge them. <laughs> Bob Dole's head? <laughs> yes. Fair enough. Yeah, I know, right? I I assume he's dead. <laughs> I'm not I'm not certain. He might not actually be dead. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but if he's not dead. I will cut off his head and put it on a spike. I want to make a shit starter <laughs> where I will draw a picture of you however I want in MS Paint with a mouse, but the minimum donation is $750. All right. Well, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Just spend five minutes. I could draw a picture that's good, or I could spend just scribble a bunch of stuff in Memphis Paint and send it. I mean, to you them. can you can donate less money. You just you don't get anything. <laughs> oh, dude! I should study archaeology and become Indiana Jones. <laughs> I don't think that's how they actually work. I've become Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome no, to archaeology. How- Here's your bull whip and hat. <laughs> You show up to your first day of class, and it's like, all right, everybody, take your bull whips out. And you're just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm if sorry, I were... Professor. I could only find this leather whip used for BDSM. Was that good enough? <laughs> I only have a horse riding whip. Does that work? Maybe. In certain areas. I have one of those whips you see like in like ancient Egypt that have like four whips coming out the end, and they have like <laughs> knives attached to them. Does that work? <laughs> I only have a rubber double-ended dildo. Does that work? Can you nope. throw it like a boomerang? Yes, occasionally. That'll work. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, maybe I should do like detective studies. Wait, where is? where do you think I could do that? And then I could become a PI and I could just sit around in an office like film noir style and just be like, today was a terrible day. My cases were going nowhere. I still couldn't obtuse where things were. <laughs> obtuse. Well, actually, it's the thing is like uh, deduction is actually abduction. It's just that everyone's gotten it wrong forever. <laughs> because well, does, uh, Sherlock does... Holmes does not deduce. He abduces. You know what I want to watch? I want to watch ba- Basil of Baker Street again. Yes. You remember that movie? I do. Ah, uh, so good. <laughs> With the evil Ratigan. Yes. Of course. Which turns yeah. out to be a bunch of weird shit. And then I mean, I he was a rat. Sense. Yeah, it made no sense in the end. It was a good movie. Yeah. Fuck you. It was a good movie. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying anything else. It's just it confused me. Yeah. Is that am I not allowed to be confused? No. No. Oh well, god damn it. <laughs> All right. It. Well uh what, Is it wrapping that's, up that's time? about it. Yeah, it's, it's wrapping up time. We've got like um fifty seconds. Huh. Sounds it's like we're running out of time. Yep. We're running out of time. And on that bombshell, we'll bid you good day.
Ladies and ladies, and we'll see you next week. Yes, indeed. <gasps> and that Wait. that's it, I guess. Sweet. I'm done? Yeah. Wait, I have a curiosity moment. <clears throat> next week will be my last week I could do it. I... Oh, no. There's always room for Oddcast. Oddcast, huh? What a load of shit.